Okay, this is part two of the introduction for staff for Windows 10 on your staff PC. Since we're updating them all to Windows 10, we're making a couple of videos, and this is the second one introducing staff to Windows 10. This is about software changes on this video, and one of the software changes is that um, Campus has recommended on their support site using OneDrive as a replacement for your F drive, which was your personal network folder. Um, and we could give you more help with that upcoming, but just as a quick preview uh, to that, if you wanted to set it up for yourself, this would connect you connect you to OneDrive. Your New Paltz account, your New Paltz email account, logging on to uh, your, the Microsoft Office OneDrive section, work or school, and then you can see that it pops up with the very familiar campus login. This is duo authentication like we've all been moved over to. And so after you sign in here, it would just start syncing uh, just the OneDrive files that you have saved in OneDrive for yourself. Hopefully it's not an over and abundance of files because um, it is a little bit redundant having them online and also on the PC which happens when you sync to OneDrive but it's campus recommended and uh, would be fine for you to set up for yourself or ask us to help you set it up. All right. So a couple other little things we've added to Windows 10 um, this time around is all, we used to have a client that you would log on to to connect to uh, the library catalog. And um, since we connect to our Alma catalog through a web browser, we decided it might be a good idea to have a separate web browser strictly for Alma connections. Um, and this is because you can use your web browser for anything that you want to, sign into personal accounts. We don't entirely endorse that, but it's something that, you know, in the modern world people frequently need to do. Um, and we want to also keep your work in Alma uh, safe and separate from anything that might infest your browser like a malicious plugin, etc. So using a, a separate browser protects your Alma work from that um, and helps keep it safe. So there are all the login, logout buttons that you might want. All the logout is something that we haven't had access to in the past, but it's right there. Um, and you'll recognize that it has a bright yellow icon and a bright yellow toolbar at the top, so you won't mistake it for your other web browser. Also, if you click on the user account, it tells you um, if you're not logged on to an online account and don't do it. Okay, um, now you will be getting uh, admin pop-ups. That's a part of the security in Windows 10. Um, and in Windows 7, we had these turned off. Uh, but you'll be getting them for programs even if we have installed them for you, if that program requires special permissions to run. Like OCLC Connexion, Connection Client. Um, if you get a lot of those pop-ups that look like that and you're not sure why, then let us know and we can check out your PC. But if it's a known app like Connection Client, you can just run it uh, by saying yes. Okay, another type of thing that Windows does uh, in Windows 10 is that it gives you notifications about things. We've tried to reduce the number of notifications that pop up in Windows, and where they pop up is in this corner down near the clock. Those notifications will show for only like 10 seconds or so, and then disappear. But Windows doesn't lose them, it keeps them in a list. On the right hand side of your clock is an icon that will show you all the old and new notifications. And if you have a whole series of notifications there, there's a link for clearing them out. If you see anything in there like uh, your PC has a virus, let us know. Otherwise, they're standard parts of Windows 
just telling you it did a virus scan and it found a cookie and the cookie was deleted, which is fine. One notification that you'll be seeing frequently are notifications for Windows updates. Windows updates are set to run automatically, although they are managed by Windows Update dates. And so when you see them, it may fill up your notifications area. Uh, if Windows up Updates asks you to reboot, I would say yes to rebooting, but only if you have time. And the way that you would access rebooting for your Windows updates, if it's not popped up on the screen, is through the power button. Um, there'll be another option there for install updates and reboot or install updates and shut down and I would recommend only do it if you have time for example if you're going to lunch and you've seen a notifications for Windows Update you could then click on that start button and choose restart and install updates it would be a separate option from the ones that we can see now and but best time to do it is when you're going home for the night, and I do recommend that everyone shut down their PCs when they go home for the night. Just click on the Start button and say Shut Down or Restart and Install. We can't see those options right now, but they'll show up over there. One other thing that um, everyone should know how to do is to run a virus scan. We're using Windows Security now, and if you click on the Windows Security icon, this little white shield, and click on virus and threat protection then you can do a quick scan. You don't have to manage anything about this actually. Windows will run scans in the background all the time um, and may give you notifications about it. It may not. Uh, but if you feel something weird has happened on your PC it's just a good thing to know how to do so that you can do a quick scan and find out uh, if anything's on your PC. All right, so that's it for software changes and an introduction to Windows 10. We hope you all enjoy Windows 10 on your PCs.